us against the uh, the oyster company and, and the town. And when you can't get answers, that's when suspicion starts like getting pretty high. You know, the oyster company, you know, owns they lease, you know, probably ninety percent of the productive bottom out here, and we're left with ten percent of it. And we're trying to better ourselves and add to that. Let's put a public and, and all the other people who want to try to make a living out here. I'm, you know, I have nobody who's going to be doing this after I'm done. Citing allegations ranging from the destruction of marine life and habitat to the illegal taking of shellfish from public clam and oyster beds, the 70 members of the North Oyster Bay Baymans Association have filed a $750 million lawsuit in Nassau County Supreme Court against the town of Oyster Bay and Frank M. Flower and Sons, the last and oldest of the large shellfish companies on Long Island and the state. Their kind is a dying breed and their livelihood is determined not just by the brightly flagged boundary marker separating the bay's rich underwater shellfish beds from flour, but more so by Mother Nature herself. And, and Bill, how long have you been out here doing this stuff? 28 years, coming I think 29. And why do you do it? Uh, <laughs> why do I do it? I was working at a florist and I saw these dumb bastards out there breaking ice with their boats. I was like, I gotta do that. And, and that was it. And that spring I, you know, came out and then it got into your, your, your heart, your soul. You know, even a bad day, even a bad day is not that bad. I got no one telling me what to do. Everybody out here loses a lot of money for this independence. You have to pay for your own medical, you got to pay for your own uh, retirement funds, you know. So, you know, where people say they're making 50 grand but they got full bennies, they're talking 70 grand. We got to dish all that out. And if you have bad years where, where it's tough, we had 10 years that was horrible. You can't put away for that because you're just barely surviving. Bay here that you know there's 70 licensed baymen that work on it you know part-time full-time that deserve you know a better shake of what's going on the public doesn't know like that you know they, they 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 say they put the oyster back in oyster bay they put the oyster on their own leases and sell it for themselves they don't put anything back to the public they lease ground that's that's underpriced you know it's it's just not fair the taxpayers have no idea what's going on out here there's millions and millions of dollars worth of shellfish coming out of this bay and it goes into the three owners pockets and you know, when they illegally place boundaries and move boundaries around and, and dredge on our ground, it, 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 we don't have enough ground that's productive to, to support the Bayman working out here. So, we, you know, we'd like to better ourselves. The, um, the town is uh, neglected to uh, listen to De Bruin Company, which they are a land survey company. Uh, they sent several letters to the town stating that placing these boundaries is uh, against the New York state law. They continue to let Frank and Flowers place these boundaries. There is no definitive line. The person that is leasing these grounds have been in control of placing their own boundaries. So uh, we don't know. We don't really know the true boundaries out here. And why can't that guy move those flags like he just did? He's uh, he's not certified. You have to be in, in New York. You need to be a certified a New York certified land surveyor. Are you aware that you need a license to move these, that this is a legal procedure you're performing? I'm sorry? They're not legally placed, so sometimes the flags are here, sometimes they're there, and you know, when they get moved and the dredge boats come in and wipe the areas out, no one says anything because the town says, you know, they, they, they put them in in their leases and they could do what they want. It's not fair. There should be a licensed guy doing that. It's just some fly-by-night that works for the company. As frustrated as the Baymen are with the border wars regarding the flags, perhaps their most contentious gripe concerns Flowers' fleet of hydraulic dredge ships and hydraulic suction dredges, oh, yeah. which decimate the fragile ecosystem and suck up fish, marine animals, oh, yeah. eggs, and plants while churning the bay's bottom into a thick, muddy swallow sea life and silt. 
picture of a vacuum cleaner. You're in your house, you throw Cheerios, oh, yeah. grapes, raisins, oh, yeah. everything. You vacuum it up, it's going to suck it all up. So their Cheerios are the oysters. And they're getting the baby fish, all the different kinds of fish, and all the eggs. You know, it's great for what they want to do with it. But environmentally, it's, it's devastating. This is how you hand harvest. So okay. this is the way the state wants you to do it. Okay. So flowers, they're the only ones that are allowed to mechanically dredge in the whole state. Okay. Why? I have no idea. Against the law in the state, the town lets them do it. I don't know how the laws work, you know, but it doesn't seem right. Flower and Sons Corners, Dwight and David Relier and Joe Satilla refused to comment for this story, referring all questions about the company's operations to their attorney, Gary Edelman, who denied all allegations of wrongdoing. A detailed list of questions sent to the town of Oyster Bay went unanswered as of press time. We're the That's what we're trying to do, yeah. The Bald Eagles are doing better than the Bayman on Long Island. With all the rules and regulations and the company, the a company like this, we're the Bald Eagles. Eagles. Because when we had it bad for 10 years, they had their best years.